Well, preparations for the Sunderland Cup in full swing to part of the club. But this weekend, it's all about the Irish ladies over. Yeah, it is. Um, I got in last night, so I've not seen not seen what the course is like this year. But um, my caddy's already walked it and said it's in really good condition. Um, I've changed a few of the holes, I think. But yeah, it's quite difficult not to think about the Solheim. You know, it's everywhere around and clean. But um, yeah, you know, we've got a job to do this week and, and as well as I can during the Irish Open. You haven't let the Solheim Cup distract you. Your form is quite good at the moment. You must be quite pleased. Yeah, I mean, it's been okay. It's been quite a frustrating season. I feel that um, I, ha I am improving. I'm just not letting it happen. Um, so. You know, I mean, obviously, I'd, I've, I've had a win this year, which obviously, if you have a win during a, during a season, it's obviously quite nice. But, um, but yeah, it is a little bit frustrating. But I mean, I've not really, you know, I still feel like I'm performing quite well week in week out. It must be pleasing that you said you're improving week in, week out in the build-up to the Solheim. Is there any particular angle of your game that you're looking to work on? Is there anything that you're kind of particularly not happy with? Is there anything that you are happy with? Yeah, we ch we've changed my swing. Um, well, we've not really changed it, I think we've just tightened my swing during during the season, me and my coach Dave. Um, so it's just kind of trusting that and letting that, you know, kind of flow quite freely. So after this week I've got I've only got really the Scottish Open in four weeks, so I've only got one tournament in four weeks. So that's when I'm really gonna kind of hit it hard and, and kind of ingrain it and get it ready really for, for September. It's a big risk isn't it, changing something like your swing during a season. Yeah, I mean changing it is is um, is probably not the correct term that I should be using. It's more just tightening it, you know, we have a blueprint of what I want my swing to look like and and it has always been going in that direction, but um, yeah, I mean, we just kind of stepped up a little bit this year, just because I was just getting quite frustrated with with a few shots that, that I was constant, consistently hitting. So, um, but yeah, no, I've ironed out those problems, and um, I feel a lot more in control of everything now. Let's go back to the ladies' open because it's on the same course that the Southampton Cup will be. How much of this tournament is it going to be about winning and playing well, and how much of it is going to be about getting to know the course? I mean, obviously we're here to win. Um, I think that, you know, obviously every single player is here to, to perform their best, um, myself included. This week my aim is to win. Um, at least put myself in contention in a position to win. Um, you know, I, I played clean last year and I, I've been once before in between. So, you know, I feel I do know the course quite well. And obviously, you, you know, the more you play it, the more you're going to find little, little secrets here and there on certain holes. So, you know, the, the more and more you play it, the more you're going to get used to it. Jack Nicholas design course as well. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a, I, I really like the course. I think um, you know, there's a lot of holes that you can kind of go for. A couple of par you can get on in two, and um, you know, there's a lot of risk and reward holes. So, and the par threes are very strong here. So it's um, yeah, it's a fantastic layout, and you know, it's a really good challenge. Do you enjoy playing in this part of the world? And when I say this part of the world, I mean anywhere in Ireland, and of course Great Britain, because the the crowds that come out seem to know the game, and they yeah. seem to know yeah. what you're going through. The crowds are definitely different. Um, you know, we do always get a lot of good home support for in Great Britain and Ireland, so it's it's really nice playing in either Great Britain or Ireland. And um, you know, especially in Ireland, I don't know what it is. There's always a really good buzz around an island. Um, so I mean, it's it's going to be a fantastic atmosphere in September. Will it be strange this weekend because obviously you're playing as individuals, but when it comes to the Solheim Cup, you're playing as a team. No, not at all. I think you know, obviously we're still playing the same game. Um, this week is just my priority is obviously my individual. You know how I do individually, but um, you know it's, it's, it's just exactly the same. Golf's exactly the same. It's you know yes, you are playing against just one country in, in September, but at the same time you're still playing against the golf boys. USA are the holders. How important is it that you bring this back? Because they're looking for four in a row. They are. We're not too happy about that at all, really. But um, yeah, I think we're obviously we're going as underdogs, but I think that you know the, the Americans definitely shouldn't underestimate underestimate us. I think. We're, you know, it's looking very, very strong at the minute, the European team. Um, you know, I should be pretty happy with the way that the team's shaping up. Everyone's performing well and, um, you know, the players perform well in, in, you know, majors. And I just feel that, you know, I think the Europeans have definitely, especially on the LET, have definitely stepped it up this year in Europe. Um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's looking exciting, really. I think, um, yeah, I think we've definitely got a, a great chance to, to bring the trophy back now. What about Derby County's chances? Yeah, I'm a big fan, but it's horrendous. Um, yeah, no, it haven't been the same since Robbie Savage. No, exactly, really. no. I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, we've got some good players this year, but whether we're going to do any good, we might get in the playoffs if we're lucky. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to actually say that I think Leicester, which are my absolute rivals, might win the league this year. They've got some really good players, so I'm not very happy about that at all. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and get to as many games as I can this year. My, one of my best mates has got season tickets, so hopefully I can take the other season for the uh, experience. Yeah.